Hello guys, Garcia here. This is part 10 of our Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest mod playthrough, playing as a Tremere. So now we are going to get the next part of the Kindred for Hire quest line. I was uh, postponing this one. So we have to kill this fella, uh, the Congressman Lewis. I was postponing it because we are going to take uh, another hit to our humanity and we already have four. And obviously this is not good, so... But because we got one from the, the Tremere clan quest, I feel like we can spend another one here on this quest. This quest is a little bit complicated because once you atta attack the, the congressman, uh, a few policemen will show up in like tactical gear and stuff. So it's not an easy one to do, especially because I haven't bought my new armor on the red stop in Hollywood yet. So today we are going to make uh, to do a few Hollywood quests, start knocking a few of those down, do the the Romero quests Going on the way. graveyard. I think I don't remember if I the moment I step step foot on Hollywood if the fight already starts. I think I have to shoot the guy first. Oops. <laughs> As is tradition, apparently. I always spawn in different cities with my gun up for some reason. This is a very old and common bug on on the game, so let's just wait for those guys to chill a little bit. So the only quests we have done here are the Gargoyle quest, the first tape quest for Isaac, the, the Baron, the Anarch Baron here in Hollywood. And the Cafe Cavaletti quest, the one that we get on the computer. The rest, we haven't done anything yet. Actually, I'm going to do the red stop first. Because then I can get uh, better weapons and I can get the, the armor that I was just talking about. Not armor, right? In this game. The different type of clothing that gives us a little bit more... The moon is out, a little bit higher defensive stats and you've tuned into the dev of night nobody to fall asleep next to I remember that if we open this we start this the scenario the vigilante scenario here I think this is an exclusive from the clan quest mod it's not in the in the original game there's no point in equipping weapons right now because in cutscenes they are unequipped so let's see if we can do this put your hands up put your fucking hands up right now Open the register. You, up, what? you have nightmares. I said about open it. Out fuck talk. No, no, no. Don't you know? Oh god! Your oh god, don't hurt me! God damn, you're pretty. That's the lady we have to protect. What are you doing, man? Hopefully we don't hit her. Just having some fun? Are there any Please. scientists out there listening? To Please, this? just uh, I, I, I That's right, bitch. I, I don't know Beg where, for it. Look, you know the average the the Shut your fucking hole and open the register! There it is, so not free to move yet. Now I am. Let's pause here and equip uh, my main weapon here. And let's try to avoid killing her here. Alright. So, we did it. Just use one blood heal. And let's put this away. That would explain why let's cancel the aspect because it hurts the eyes. Birthday on magic beans. So let's talk to her. It's good to know that the future of our country is in Can talk hands. during combat. Oh boy. So let's see if I got let's the money here. Survives. Not really. Sure. So there it is. Hey, so that went okay. What do you do, Roger? Thank you. Oh, oh thank so you. you I was so scared. I I just stopped off to buy some milk for the baby. I see. Oh God, so, I can't believe how close he came to losing <laughs> the, the blood behind him makes it just way more fun. I insist. Oh, thank you. You didn't need to insist. So, if you haven't really written anything, how can you call okay, yourself so... a writer? I guess I once fixed my toilet. Jesus, man! Jesus! Is there anyone in the that doesn't call themselves a writer Jesus. or actor or a director? Oh, as a thank you, I pass on some of my skills, huh? Oh, so this guy also gives me a finance point. 
What kinds of skills? Seriously, bro. I've got mad skills at haggling down a price, yo. All right. No, Great thank man. you. So now we have Haggle 5. That's awesome. The system in the Clan Quest mod to give you finance points is awesome because usually nobody spends points in this, right? So now we have 14 XP points. Uh, I don't know if I can put points in firearms because I think uh, Romero is going to give me one point here. So I don't. To avoid conflicts, I'm not going to put points in here yet. But I can put one points on perception. And I also need uh, just one more in hacking. Should never need to put points on it again, basically. So I'm going to put one in hacking and one in stealth. We're going to need this later. There you go. Would you please stay Could have been the end of me. Reason why I'm not to put in that many points in perception yet is because we have Auspex 5, so. What's up? Oh. Uh, anything exciting? Uh, looking for a tape. Like I said. All right. Yeah. Uh, hey. What's a special? So there it is. So we have a lot of money. So light ladder. We have the Colt. It's a very strong weapon, but it's kind of slow. But since we have a lot of money, I don't see any reason not to spend some money on it. We haven't even spent that much. Let me sell some weapons here, just to... Oh, I'm sorry. That was That's not what I was supposed to click here. Let me sell... Uh, positive... And a shotgun. I'm going, to, I'm going to keep the usual here. Man, that's annoying. <laughs> the, the entire time I should have done this first. I apologize. That's very annoying. But everything went fine, so let me equip the new uh, quote unquote armor here. So F3. So there it is. So this one gives us uh, the dexterity penalty. So every time we need to lock pick or sneak, we just have to remove. But it gives us a lot of defense, which is great. The thing that's uh, that was stopping me food from doing the the kindred for hire quest also is defense because it's a combat quest right so the moment i sh probably shoot him here is going to start so i'll have to probably run luckily there's a a manhole here so we just escape through the sewers here let me save just in case i kill someone that I'm not supposed to and lose an extra uh Humanity point. So just to be safe, I'm going to use all specs once here just to. I don't know why I'm using this weapon to be honest. Uh, the Colt is going to be way better here. There you go. So now I have to hide from the cops a little bit and hide from the guards. But I don't think they come to the source. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Talk about burning your tongue, huh? Oh man! Thanks to all specs, I saw them at least. So that there's that. Let's see how we are doing outside here. Oh my God! <laughs> we are trapped for a while here, apparently. Luckily, the cops are walking away. Man, this was so close. This was incredibly close. But luckily I, I avoided the, the confrontation, which is what I wanted. Uh, we got... Uh, we lost one humanity point, obviously, but that's okay. The next... The last part on Kindred for Hire, we have to kill the gang that has been hiring us for, for the hits. But that's going to happen only in Chinatown, I think. So we are fine for now. I just need to enter some place to reset the guys chasing me. So let me enter the random manhole here just to avoid climbing the same one. I'm being extra cautious. I probably 
could take those guys, especially with the new cloth, <laughs> clothing slash armor here. But just to be safe, let's not do that. As I said in the beginning of the playthrough, I enjoy the fact that you can, if you want, you can just run away in certain points. You don't need to necessarily fight everything or everybody. Obviously, Kindred for Hire is a modded quest line, but I think it fits the game very well, to be honest. So the only quest we have here besides Kindred for Hire is the second tape quest from Isaac. Mm, I don't know if we can make it. No, we can't. Alright, so I probably will have to choose another one. This place is locked. Not locked, uh, we are closed off. Better way to say it. <laughs> I'm in such a, a stealthy vibe that I'm even uh, talking in a lower tone of voice. That's RP. So we have to use another one here. I never used the source in Hollywood, so I don't know where to go here. There's the map, but we are yoloing it here. I only played an entire Malkavian playthrough once. Because I don't like the fact that you lose a few portions of the game I'm playing with a... Oh, not Malkavian, I apologize, a Nosferatu. Oh man, that's unbelievable. <laughs> The moment I finally am able to find a spot, there's a lady on the door, there's a lady. So I just need to enter here and reset the guards. I don't need to enter here right now. Just want to be able to walk freely in the street again. And in Hollywood, we are really talking about a street, not streets, because it's just one, right? That's another thing that I like about this game a lot, is that you are able to feel like you're in the city even though you are really in just a, a very small, tiny portion of it but it still feels like a, like a city So okay, let's see what other secondary quests we can get here There's a bunch of quests in the Lucky Star, but I'm not going to do them right now I usually do them all together uh, I got the book from... Yes, I got the book from the Ground Zero here. So I don't need to go there anymore. Red Spot's done. Metalhead is later. I can do the Ash quest. Uh, so yeah, let's do this quest right now so I can... This quest I can either switch him around with the double, right? With a guy that looks like him. Or we can go through the sewers, I usually just go through the sewers anyway. So that's probably what we're going to do here. Depending on the mod you're playing, this quest can be deadly because of the... The weapons mod, that sometimes is a part of these mods. And those guys can have like fire crossbows and things of that nature. I think the cloth is the only thing that... Only item available here. But I'm not sure. But I, I think in this mod we won't have that problem on source, so let's start with my fellow Asher. I just why don't you have Ash? That's true. Anything. <laughs> Sun's gone. Never mind. Me neither. What's the cat? To say yes we you didn't see. Looks like it won't be a problem. If I make it back. Okay, so there you go. I actually never failed in this quest, so I don't know what happens. I don't know if he can be killed here. I never did this quest while I was too weak to do it, so but let's save just to be sure. 
All right, so let's uh, use the cult here. Oh, sorry. I think I am equipped. Yes. So let's just let it rip here. Put you down. The cult is really powerful. It's just kind of slow. I saw this sword, I remember the, the library quest. Did I miss it somehow? Do I have to do something to unlock it? I actually don't remember to be honest. Maybe it's after Hollywood? Actually, I'm not sure. I just saw the sword, I remember because remembered uh, because uh, that particular quest in this mod, I think, gives you the, give the, bro the, the broad sword, which is the best. One of the best, if not the best, melee weapon in this mod. Come on, reload. Where's Ash? Oh. Uh, let's reload here. That didn't see me yet, so. Oh, that's the one dude that's problematic. Let's not get too close. There it is, with complete aspects, it's very, it's almost impossible to die here. Probably the train can kill you, I imagine. I never thought about that, but I don't think I've ever been hit by the train. If that is even possible, I don't know. It would be funny though. Come on. Well, <laughs> our prayers were answered. God indeed exists. Haruhi Sama Banzai. Come on, dude. Ugh, this part is always a pain. He always gets either stuck or just stops moving. So we have to go and kind of reroute him a little bit. Like he's like a, an android that's, that's without fuel or something like that. Come on, dude. Come on, come on. Please, please. Come, 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 come. Ah, oh my god. How does this guy survive so long? We'll never know. Come on, Ash. Yes. Negative zero. Alright. That was pretty easy. At this point, only a few things in the game are can be uh, problematic for us. Mostly bosses, like the Inquisition guy. Uh, his name is like Grufeld Bach, I think. German's not my strong suit, <laughs> nor is it English any anyway. So, one more for the collection. So we did the Ash quest, now we can go to CV or VV. Let's see how the day, find, the day finds her here. <laughs> or the night. Even though I love Santa Monica, uh, just hearing the music or seeing pictures of the actual Santa Monica, I always remember of the Santa Monica in the game. But. Uh, the coziest 
uh, hub clearly is Hollywood for sure. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do the Romero quest first. <laughs> the guys are already stuck in the same place as always. The Romero quests are completely disconnected from the rest, so I can just do them. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, pimping for Romero. <laughs> we have to get him some. So here's what I'm going to do. We are going to cheese this quest because I, have, I hate this quest with passion. I've never done this quest like in uh, the legitimate uh, way. I don't have patience for it. So let me save here because the timer is going to start, right? I'm going to do this one first. Oh, there, Slick. Hey, yeah. Uh, Who else? Names were. See, it's Dilly. Shoot them. Shoot them, them. Blow them away. Frag, frag, frag them. them. All right. Who knows? You're telling me. I love my. Hey, you wouldn't. I'll be back. All right. And. Okay. So we got the rifle. I think that's a rifle. So no time to lose. We are going to run to the corner. As it's tradition here. Or as is tradition. Working on my English there. So here's why what we are going to do guys. I'm going to use Auspex to see any zombies come. And I'm going to stay here for 5 min minutes and chill, nothing happens when you stand in this corner here. You are just attacked by like a couple of zombies and timer expires and you pass the quest basically. So uh, I'm going to stay here and uh, I'll see you guys in 4 minutes or so. Figures they out while I was gone. Guess that means they're learning. There you go guys, we just did it. Uh, just had to wait a little bit but... Whole time I was getting that. All right, what you've got? Hmm. What have I got to give? Uh, t teach me how, how to use a firearm. When you fire, keep. Ah, oh, would you look there at There you go. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this quest when I am three. I have three firearms to get you four. To be honest, as I said in the beginning of the playthrough, I usually go the melee route, so I don't know a whole lot about. Uh, how to not spend points on firearms here, but oh, actually, I need to do his second quest. I forgot about that. <laughs> so let's go. That's that whole blood sucking. Moon comes. Sometime. Really? There you go. So now we got the Peeping for Romero quest. So let's go find the lady. Pretty high persuasion, so I don't think I need to use any disciplines on her. I think. Uh, no, no. My blood is kind of low, though. I need to feed on someone here. Hey, baby. No. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Come on. So the lady actually says, "I don't know why I should trust you," and then she follows you anyway. That's. That's thug life. The lady has balls of steel or breasts of steel. Where is she? 
I don't think it matters. I think the quest will trigger even if she even if she's not physically here. Hey. Sure, he Huh? Oh. What? See it? So there you go. Quest done. With the two row beta quest we got twelve. That's really good. We had a few we had like four, I think. So we got eight just with these two pretty easy side quests, which is pretty good. Money could have been better, but hey. Was that me? I don't think so. So I need to feed. Let's feed on this dude here. I think he's the only guy that comes behind the building here, so I think he's okay. <laughs> go so now with this two quests down we can go to the service here talk to V I think her first quest is the vampire hunter quest if I'm not mistaken I actually don't remember if I there's one of the stalls here that has some not so friendly stuff for YouTube here, so I'm going to avoid it. I'm try to remember if there's any items here. I don't think so. Ah, oh. mm. I think. Be the way. Thing that always bothered me with her is that she has the same model that Jeanette and Therese use. I always thought she would have had a different model, just to, you know. But isn't this fine? Like you and me alone. Oh, the reason I asked you up here is because think nothing. I'm Vel Valor. It's been months since I've seen. All right. You. I'm like uh, hunters. Hunters. For a few. Okay, maybe I could take care of her. Would you? You'd really be. She works out. I want you to understand. Alright. This quest is a little bit complicated. Fails on occasion because, as far as I remember, I have to convince a, a lady that works in the same bin where the, the, hunter, the huntress is to move rooms so she doesn't see me fighting. Problem is, I only use firearms, so they are very noisy. I'm going to have to use the, the axe in this one. But I think it's going to be okay. So we have to go to the Simbin anyway because we have to talk about the tape with a uh, not so creepy uh, Flynn here. Hey, you slick. Hey, yeah. Uh. The name's Flynn. I... The sin? Man, we. Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard uh, of Death Mask Productions? Okay. Real. All right. The kind. Real. Mm, look, Flynn, and uh, where are they? Forget it, man. Uh, oh, and then all you. All right. Hey, wait. What can I? D uh. uh. All right. Okay, so now we advanced both quests here. We got info on the tape and we also got info on the, the Huntress, Chastity. So I'm going to try to not to mess this up here. Uh, six, so I have to use Blood Buff. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think this guy does anything. Damn it. I missed. Let's try to fit on him. Hopefully, that doesn't make the quest fail automatically. Let's see.
Nope. Not a good day. Uh, what we need to do here is... Oh, sure. We have to remove the people that are watching the peep show. Uh, lockdown, yes. <laughs> this guy is probably going to kick the thing, right? I remember that. Uh, sorry, I was drinking water here. <laughs> there it is. So one last problem. I think now I have to talk to the lady to remove her from the room. Here, right? Let me just see if we have any items here. I don't remember. I think the password that I just used. So we have no one here, no one here, and no one here. So we're fine. All of them are closed. So let's save here. This quest usually bugs out because the lady sometimes gets stuck in the room and other things can happen. Hopefully we can open this without using blood buff. Yes. Here she is. Yeah. What are you looking? Oh. Okay. I'll just go back into the pleasure palace. Let's go. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. Thank you. So let's just patiently wait for her to get in here. I'm going to feed on her because I'm very low here. Let's not miss this one here also. I have not been the most competent vampire these last few nights. Alright, so the idea here is to use the fire axe to reduce the noise. I don't know if it matters, but maybe it does, I don't know. So let's save here again. As you guys can see, I save a lot. I don't like replaying stuff if I don't need to. So okay, we are going to go all specs, then blood heal, and we are going to use the fire axe. So let's just get in and... Defense is helping a lot because she's missing, she's having some glancing blows. So, there you go, I think we did it everything correctly. Hopefully. So, let's deactivate this thing here. Let's leave from the back just to be safe. But I think we're good. Luckily, what we avoided the bugs. Uh, El Diablo Verde. Extreme Wrestling Warfare. I was just watching uh, the New Japan Pro Wrestling today. Uh, that gave me pause. That guy actually looks like one of the guys that is a part of a faction. Of Titan, his name is. So. Look who's back. Uh, Velvet. Hidden Stale. Mm. Mm. There you go. Yes. Mm. No. Poor Port. David, ha it was about. No. The details of his. Death. So you want me to kill Heather? No. no I don't think <laughs> It's always funny when she David works after this. Alright. So the idea here is she wants us to destroy the script that this guy has been working on alongside one of the thin bloods in Santa Monica. They are breaking the masquerade. But she doesn't want me to kill him. And I'll have the choice to kill or not the, the thin blood. But given my humanity, I don't think 
I'm going to have the choice when I get there. I will have to kill him, probably. Which is fine. We have to get our phone call, phone call here. The moon is a mysterious mistress. And walks the nights with demons of dread. The Lucky Star Motel. Okay. So there you go. So we are all set up, set up to do all the quests in the Lucky Star. We have the serial killer quest, we have the hatter quest, and we have the main quest, all three here. So that is where we are going to stop today, guys. Uh, today was kind of dicey, but the quests from Romero was, were pretty, pretty simple. And actually, we defused the, the other quests quite well, even though I got almost jumped by the, the cops on the, the sewers. But that went kind of okay. So, uh, in the next episode, we are going to start with the Lucky Star Motel. So that is, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.